Hey guys, Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland in Kirkland, Washington, just outside of Seattle. For those of you who live in Seattle, you know that Infinity of Kirkland is by far the largest Infinity dealer in the entire Pacific Northwest since we opened our doors in 1997. And for those of you who don't live in the Seattle area, well, now you know. And every now and again here at Infinity of Kirkland, we like to do something a little bit different, have some fun with our showroom floor car. In this case, uh, our new Infinity uh, for 2014, the Infinity Q50, and we call this the IK edition. And uh, IK, sometimes people refer to it as eye candy because it is a dress-up package for our most popular cars. In this case, it definitely is a dress-up package and turns a very nice and new and cool Infiniti Q50 into something dynamic and amazing and gorgeous. This is an absolutely stunning traffic-stopping car. This Q50 in black on black is uh, pretty much everything's been gone over from the custom front grille to look at the machine look finish all the way around. So gone are all the chrome accents on this car and replaced with something uh, not just modern but truly cut edge. Now this is a fully loaded sports package car and the dead giveaway of course is that aerodynamic bodywork in the front and then that accents the new uh, LED uh, headlamps and uh, fog lamps on the sports package. This one also has the 3M product called Clear Bra and you see that a lot on modern cars. The, these aerodynamic cars, the problem with them is, is they're so aerodynamic that they pick up a lot of rocks and gravel and debris as you're driving down the road. Fast car like this, the faster you go, the more damage that debris can do. So what people will do is they'll put this nice Clear Bra product and it's different nowadays than it's been in the past. It used to get really hazy. The, the material that they used uh, formerly uh, used to be a little bit too thick. You can barely tell this is on the car and it's much stronger than it ever was before. And then of course you just don't have to worry about rock chips. Let's take a look around the side here. Now I've uh, seen these Nietzsche wheels a million times and to this day I don't know if they're pronounced Nietzsche or Nietzsche or something else but they are a really good looking wheel and one of the nice things about this wheel is it showcases the sports package brakes. There are two sets, uh, two different kinds of brakes uh, options available on Q50s. The sports package, which features this kind of monoblock design, and then it has the Affinity uh, name just uh, fixed right on the exterior here. The lesser models have a, a little bit of a busier look, and it's a smaller uh, brake caliper. It just doesn't have the look of this one, and certainly doesn't enjoy the performance of this one. But these five-spoke wheels, this really showcases that great look. And then again, it's a, it's a great thing of having a sports package, is having that great brake system. Come take a look along the rest of the side here. Now if you notice again, everything that used to be chrome has this nice machined finish all the way around. And then also the turn signals and all the lights, uh, they're tinted as well. And so everything is a, a little bit uh, more demure, a little less uh, vivid than it formerly was. Heading to the back, we can see that this is a Q50S. S means sports package, of course. And then two ways to get a sports package, both in rear wheel drive or in the case of this car, this one just happens to be all wheel drive. As we pop the trunk in the back, uh, there are, if you look at enough of these Q50s, you might, uh, it might dawn on you that sometimes the trunk looks different. Uh, and that is, what that means is that this one has a uh, spare tire. Most uh, Q50s come with run flat tires. And so uh, because they're run flat, you don't need a spare tire. However, you can get a spare tire package. When you do get the spare tire package, which is under here, then it actually uh, raises the floorboard in the back and so you have a little less trunk space but you do have a spare tire. Now these tires that are on this car are not run flat tires so of course you're definitely going to need a spare. Also if you look here these little uh, handles allow you to fold down the rear seat 60-40. That just means 60% uh, or 40% so that you can have two people in the back and fold down the thin side or one person in the back fold down the wide side or just fold the whole thing down. You know this is a deluxe touring package because only the deluxe touring package comes with a fold down rear seat. Rear spoiler, tinted windows, super super sharp and then you notice the uh, the IK edition right there on the uh, rear quarter window. Let's take a look inside. Now, a lot of times in the modern world, you'll hear about people putting things like custom intakes and custom exhaust 
getting a little bit more juice out of their car. Modern cars are tuned in such a way that they already are really getting as much horsepower as is practical out of this particular application. If you wanted to go all the way to the extreme, of course, a supercharger, turbochargers, those kinds of things, but subtleties such as intake and exhaust actually pay fewer dividends in the modern world than you might imagine. However, a custom exhaust does sound cool, but make sure you know what it sounds like before you put it on your car. What sounds good in one application, in your application, may sound raspy and even obnoxious and might be money that you wish you didn't spend. Now, this car is super, super loaded, and so like all Infinities, you're going to see these two screens right on the top, an 8-inch upper screen and a 7-inch lower screen. The upper screen, in this case, means uh, it's for the navigation unit. On the base models, you would just see a clock. On the bottom screen, that's all of your apps, and there are an abundance of apps available on this car, which is a tech package. This means it's got everything. I don't know if you can see from that angle over here, but if we look at the apps, one of the buttons that we can uh, touch onto is called Driver Assistance. So we're going to push this feature right here. Driver Assistance tells us some things that are unique to the technology package, which this is. Technology package is the top of the line. There's nothing above the technology package. This has forward assist. This has lane assist. It has blind spot assist. How these features work are forward assist, as you can recall if you've done some uh, homework on the Q50, that's that two cars ahead feature that's been getting a lot of uh, buzz in the auto industry that not only does this car sense the car in front of you, a lot of cars do that with uh, laser guided uh, cruise control and what have you, feature Infinity's had since uh, 2003, believe it or not, but these new systems actually sense two cars in front of you. It's amazing. And it, even though it's been explained to me a million times, it's actually sonar and it goes around the car in front of you, how it actually works in the real world, how it actualizes, still blows me away. If a car slams on its brakes two cars ahead, this car already knows what's going on and it's setting off the chimes to let you know, hey, you're about to uh, encounter something pretty heavy. And then it also has the, uh, the, the forward collision package and so it knows when you're about to slam into something to already set you up as far as uh, best case scenario deceleration, best case scenario, uh, scenario braking and what have you. And then it also has lane assist and blind spot assist so that if uh, you're turning uh, into a, a neighbor lane and there's a car there, not only is it chiming at you and it has these uh, amber signals up here in the corners, but it's actually moving you away from that situation. So not just an alert, but it's an active package that centers you uh, back into the center of your lane. Now, one of the neat features that uh, the, the new Q50 has, especially when you get the top of the line package, or at least the touring package, is that the steering actually is not connected to a traditional steering rack. And so it's a feature that sometimes you'll hear it called uh, drive-by-wire, which actually that's not the case. This is really not connected at all. It's just, it's like almost like having a, a video game controller. And if I turn right, the, uh, it just senses it through computer technology as opposed to a traditional steering rack. And what's nice about that feature is it allows me to actually uh, change, and I can change that in here. And I can change the setting of the steering, and in fact I can change the settings for the whole car to sport or a more relaxed eco mode, which is uh, economy minded, or a standard mode, or even a custom mode. And so I can get the steering the way that I want it. If I like a heavier steering feel, I can actually dial that in, so to speak, just with this drive mode fe uh, feature right here. And I can change the entire setting of everything. I can recalibrate every feature of this car to the way I like it, as opposed to the way anybody else likes it. Now this is a high performance sports car, it's a 328 horsepower car with a 7 speed uh, automatic transmission and then it also has uh, the paddle shifters, right side for plus shift, uh, left side for downshift and the, it really does work quite well. I'm not a huge fan of automatic transmissions as a rule and I do wish that Infiniti would come out with a manual transmission for this car but they do not have a manual transmission for this car, they have an automatic. And the sports package with the, the ability to shift on the steering wheel is definitely much more popular than just having the, uh, just the, the automatic transmission itself with no ability to adjust. 
Now I've read the reviews the same as you have. Everybody says the same thing. It's super fast, it's very nice looking, does have a really nice interior. This particular uh, interior is even nicer because it has this carbon fiber finish that we've done throughout the interior and the deep window tint. Just It gives it a completely different kind of look. But the, uh, the thing that they criticize this car for is the handling. Everybody hates the run flat tires. And so, not that it's a bad thing, it's a great thing. It's just people who review cars, you gotta remember, they're looking at the limits of what a car can do. They're not just everyday daily drivers. There's a million great reasons why run flat tires are far better than any alternative. So the fact that they run when flat, I mean, that, that's enough. I mean, if, if you and your family or you and your friends are out for a night on the town and you get a flat tire, how cool is that pulled over on the side of the road? So, you know, you're jacking up the car, you're calling AAA, you're doing what you're doing. Wouldn't a run flat tire be a better alternative to that? Yes, that's a much better alternative. But in the reviews, people say, well, it's a high performance sports car. I wish at its limits it would handle even better than it does. You may enjoy this car for years and never try its limits, but if you are the kind of person who says, I am going to try its limits, well then this wheel and tire package is just what the doctor ordered. This tire package is very, very aggressive, summer style tire, and with summer style, it's all season tire, but what summer style tire means is that it's going to far outperform its peers on dry pavement, and that's the time when you're really going to seek and find what this car can do. With these tires, it addresses any limitations that you might read about and turns this into a real track car. And I don't mean that facetiously, like, oh, you're just saying that because it's a sporty car with rims. This is a high-performance exotic sports sedan. It truly is. It's just done in such a way that's more relaxed for everybody. With this wheel and tire package, that changes that. For that person who wants the absolute best performance, the absolute best handling, this is the setup that you want. And yes, this car is expensive. It's over $60,000. And you may say to yourself, I don't want to spend $60,000 plus for an Infiniti Q50. I get it. If this wasn't an Infiniti and it was just something else, this great looking car, maybe a Maserati or something like that, and this car was $100,000, it would be the star of every magazine cover that there was. It's fast, it's incredibly well built, it's got a distinctive look, it's got a gorgeous interior. It's just because you can buy a loaded Infiniti in the 50s that maybe 60 sounds like a lot of money. But I'm telling you something, for not much more than a lot of other cars in this category, a loaded 3 Series, for example, you can have something that has a look Nobody else has anything close to it. It's a brand new car from Infiniti, and this custom one-off look is absolutely traffic-stopping gorgeous. If you have any questions about this car, uh, car, please don't hesitate to give me a call. My name is Joe Tunney. I'm the sales manager at Infinity of Kirkland. You can always reach me here at the store at 425-821-1600, or just drop me an email at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.